Hi, I want to make a video on um, a little political talk. Hopefully this won't be a long video, but I keep saying that and it's being a long video anyway. Um, so this idea of policy, and I, this is pretty much just regurgitating something such as like Admindum says about the ge geography and how you um, are, um, uh, obviously since I'm watching him, back to the regurgitation thing, obviously I watch him and therefore I'm going to regurgitate a lot of the things he says because I agree with a lot of the things he says. And I end up just saying it and I'm trying to use as many different examples as possible and going from different angles and that's what I'm trying to do in explaining these things. So I just want to say things, some things, and I, I um, agree with these things because there's a, there is a, geogra a geographic bias and a lot of these people have uh, this pride and where they're from and things like that and they start associating themselves based on where they live or where they're from and they start having all these prides and they expect other people to take pride in what they believe in but they also at the same time they uh, insult where you're, you're from because they have this, this idea it's sort of like saying um, you're Irish and whatever it may be those cliches that people want to spiel like my brisky beer I want beer I drink beer I'm Irish I'm this I'm that St. Patrick say this that the other thing and so on and so forth and how these cliches obviously control our ideas of geographic biases and that's exactly the things that control our geographic biases um, based on having someone that um, represents you that doesn't represent you they're just a person that's they're a figurehead of your political geographic location based on what the majority or the small majority believe and there's almost no way 45 percent whatever circumstance it is almost half of the people or whatever some even 25 percent when you have a group of people that say choose a person based on a an ideology they choose the best option for that and then ends up being like two different groups of ideologies basic groups of ideologies grouping people together and voting for someone in total and it ends up being like 70 percent you still have 30% that aren't even being uh, accounted for and you haven't maybe another 25 or 30% are still having only some of their ideas being represented. So that's the idea of having this geographic bias and taking it by an uh, I ideological bias. Having ide ideological biases have control over these things and not geographic biases because that gets down to a common the human nature of associating people by where they're from and all of a sudden uh, judging people by where they're from and all, all, all this kind of negative crap and associating people with where they're from and all of a sudden associating them with some kind of negative bias by where they're from based on the general bias of that area so all of a sudden they're represented by some kind of Republican uh, cuckoo um, and that's representing them and all of a sudden they person says oh I'm from there and they describe themselves but I don't believe it but all of a sudden you just based on human typical human cliched nature they'll associate him with that and all of a sudden they'll say oh he's just another cuckoo from that town or whatever it may be even though they're assholes judging you for being a cuckoo and they're just reinforcing I mean playing by the mechanism that's exactly the mechanism that the person that's telling you that they don't agree with the cuckoo is trying to convince you of and trying to get you out of but you're just too caught up in this silly game you're on the opposite side you're fighting a battle with someone else and the other person so the person that's trying to stop the battle in the middle putting his hands out and saying okay let's have a reasonable conversation and you're just fighting back and you're playing the game you're playing the uh, equal and opposite reaction game when it comes to that and that's obviously you're just being played by the net mechanism when you say you're so great and then you look at them and say they're so bad bad and they're the very and, and uh, they're the cuckoos that you're talking about and then and they talk about um they, they're not saying how bad they, they have an ideology that you don't believe and you talk about how bad they are and you're just playing the same game and you're being a hypocrite and so on and so forth and reinforcing your beliefs in the same way that they would be and then you're insulting them for doing the same thing that you're doing and it's just the same thing you think you're so progressive and then you're insulting someone else and that's kind of silly and uh, mentally handicapped um, so you're you need to stop that um, so uh, voting um, yeah so the idea of voting and this voting thing that I keep saying and talking about about um, voting onto your uh, uh, hand down vote I can't remember exact words it's not getting to me but um, where you, you vote for someone then you put someone else on your list and your second person and third person everyone gets almost in a way equal representation by going down their list and they see it's someone that they voted for even if it's the number two guy the number two guy uh, even if if you know a guy that's number one on 20 percent of the ballots but a guy that's number two on about 80 percent of the ballots will win the election and um, so uh, say he's number two or number three on most people's list he'll end up being most people's second choice and not first choice a lot of the first choices use extremes and people use extremes on one choice so at least the person they chose second will get chosen they're getting at least somewhat represented for the most amount of people so you're getting the, the most amount of representation representation at least out of the most amount of people so you're getting the most that you can out by the proportion ratio of uh, how much how high they were on your list how many people voted for them and that leads to um, yeah um, wh who eventually uh, represents you um, so that's always a good idea and how I'm representing people and so on and so forth um, so yeah geogra geographic bias and people's biases 
and how people, obviously, human nature and association, staying with the group, homogenizing in a group and asso associating yourself based on this whole group, but saying you're an individualist, but associating with the group as a whole, yeah, that's a big contradiction and you're a big hypocrite, especially when you start insulting other people for doing the exact same thing or doing something that you're not doing and yet you're the one doing it. So you're an asshole and you need to shut your mouth. Otherwise, um, you're going to look like an idiot and that's not going to be good for you. So I think you need to shut your mouth. Um, yeah, I've noticed this a lot and it's really frustrating dealing with these kinds of people because it's everywhere and there's nothing you can do except I understand generalizations are a lot of the times the only way you can deal with things in certain situations and and, general, and obviously it comes down to playing the same old game that we're playing um, judging people by where they're from and things like that geographic biases, political biases and that's exactly the thing that creates these biases are these cultural and political biases and economic biases that we have based on different places, being in a city, being in a rural what state you live in, what region you live in where you live in, what country you live in what continent you live in, what um, what, uh, whatever it may be, it's all very silly and superficial and very backwards and, you know, very, um, very old-fashioned and archaic. Um, so you need to, um, and very arbitrary too, it's your silly little bullshit um, projection that you're putting on. Um, so I think that's all I need to say. It's basic, and I could come back to this anytime. It's a very basic idea. It's very simple. It's not very. It's very easy, and it just takes a little more, one more step in the right direction. For like coming one more step in the right direction towards understanding the truth. Take one more step in making the regulations and understanding, um, making the political system, the voting system, the economic system, um, and how you 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 spend money, and how you can be smarter about the e economy, how you can raise the taxes on the rich, and do all sorts of things. You can do things smarter, make it better for everyone, as opposed to. Uh, better in the end, the ends justifying the means instead of being paid off by uh, big corporations and by lobbyists paying you off so that you can uh, do exactly what they say so you, you get benefited. But sometimes it's like, well, they're in between a rock and a hard place. It doesn't matter. You need to understand you have principles, especially when you're in a high office or like you should be put to the utmost scrutiny when you're a police officer or a public official or a government official. You need to take responsibility for yourself. Otherwise, you don't deserve to be a public official. You should understand the risk taken, the responsibility it takes to go up there. You need to understand the responsibility. But obviously, it doesn't matter if you understand the responsibility, especially in the system that allows people to become these government officials now because these government officials obviously get there because of the exact motivations that they want. They want the motivation of money and that's exactly why so many things are corrupt because they go in there wanting money or they go in there weak-minded of allowing themselves to be convinced by money. So that's the way the political system is working now because no one's punishing you uh, doesn't mean um, and just because that's the way things are doesn't mean it can't change and just because um, no one's punishing you now doesn't mean you can't be punished but that's not the way it's happening so you're getting away with it now anyway. So you're just sort of stuck with that system. Um, and there's nothing we can do about it, at least not right now. We can try to make changes. We can only do so much, though, to a certain extent before things can get out of, out of hand and so on and so forth. Um, so it's about trying to take accountability to our own hands. Obviously, it's the people that obviously want to change the most, the ones that are deprived the most, are the ones that are going to have to retake responsibility. The ones that are already suffering the most have to go through more suffering to fight for what they want. And that's obviously a problem we have to deal with. And that's obviously something that we have to change, but there's nothing we can do about it. That's the nature of reality. The smart people have to deal with all the problems, and the ignorant ones have to either come on board later and deal with only the easy problems once you've become so common. And it almost changes the standard how everything's real. And so on and so forth, it changes the standard once they all become smart. If they all have wings, then what next? Well, how are you going to separate yourself? You have super bulging arms, you have a uh, giant wiener, whatever it is. I mean, big balls, I don't, I don't know. What is it before you, it's like that becomes the norm, so we need to have extra, and that's uh, the mechanism that's pushing reality and the very nature of politics and how everything's working by the same mechanism, or just enforcing and reinforcing this mechanism to continue it, so on and so forth. Um, so I think that's all I need to say, so thank you, and until next time, goodbye.